Well, we get some thunderstorms tomorrow. Now on Tuesday, there's a chance of a few showers or some thunder, but I think the biggest threat really is going to be tomorrow afternoon and the cooler, less humid weather moving in by the time we get to the middle part of the week. So tomorrow we're back up in the tropical range. Same thing on Tuesday and then Wednesday and Thursday. We drop down into the sticky category, which is pretty good for this time of year. All right, overnight tonight, it's going to be another warm one with a lot of muggy air out there. We'll see lows dropping off around 70 degrees, some spots dropping off to the upper 60s, but a pretty warm night for us a little bit better than last night because the Humidity's down just a little bit. And then tomorrow, well, tomorrow we get a few showers during the morning. It's going to be an overcast day pretty much. Humid weather around midday. And by the time we get to afternoon, we've got some thunderstorms coming into the forecast. High temperatures will look like this tomorrow, into the mid 80s. But if you're right at the shoreline, a little bit of a sea breeze may actually keep it into the upper 70s. Some Marblehead and Hull just in the upper 70s. But by the time you head inland to Waltham, it's going to be about 82 degrees for a high temperature. So the temperatures tomorrow, again, as I mentioned, a little bit cooler than today, but the humidity is a little bit higher than what it was today as well. All right, let's time out those thunderstorms. First off, tomorrow morning, gray skies. There'll be a few scattered showers out there. Not really any big deal. Just be that's be happening as we head to the afternoon. However, now we start to get some thunderstorms in here and these will be marching their way across the state. I would say anything after lunchtime, probably for Boston around two, three o'clock in the afternoon. We'll see some thunderstorms. Those will push through the South Shore by six o'clock and I would say by the time the sun goes down, most of this is offshore. We'll have a beautiful sunset coming our way after those thunderstorms move through and what I'm most concerned with these thunderstorms really is what we've been dealing with lately. It's so humid out there there, you get a thunderstorm to go, you get some downpours and that means you can have some street flooding going on. If these storms can get a little bit stronger and tap into a little energy aloft, well, we might have some gusty winds out of that. So we'll keep an eye on that one. And of course, always you have to be concerned about lightning when any of these thunderstorms develop this time of year. So here's what it breaks down that over the next seven days because of that threat of some afternoon thunderstorms tomorrow. I've made it an impact weather day, a little bit of a downgrade for Tuesday. There'll still be some showers and thunderstorms, but I don't think they'll be quite as prevalent as they are on Monday. Then Wednesday and Thursday, like Liking those days right now. Looks like we'll be seeing a bit overcast as we look at Wednesday. More sunshine on Thursday, but both days featuring cooler temperatures and lower humidity. But it's only for a couple of days because the humidity starts ramping back up as we head toward the end of the week. And look at that. By next weekend, we could be staring at a couple of days of 90 degree heat, something we've only seen one day of so far this year. That's the latest forecast for right now. I'm meteorologist Mike Wonkum.